It is the 21st of the 5th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Everybody still here after the big eclipse? <laughs> I would like to thank uh, Mark with the Den uh, for doing that interview with me two weeks ago. Uh, he finally got the video edited and up, and I uh, did an incredible job. I will attach a link to that below if you want to find out a little bit about me and my art and what I do and we covered a bunch of different subjects um, not really Fukushima so if you kind of want to get to know me a little bit uh, I, I encourage you to listen to his radio show uh, let's get started shall we over at Earth's um, changes scott.net or sot.net an eruption at Costa Rica's Torralba volcano eminent question mark Costa Rica's national seismog seismological network has upgraded the color threat to yellow. The province uh, Cartago, east of the capital. And they're saying uh, it's definitely gearing up. 6.2 earthquake and several above magnitude 5.0 hit off of northeast Japan in the last few days. Uh, a couple of the bigger ones right in the spot where the 9.0 happened. USGS earthquake magnitude 6.0 off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. Uh, in the Italy earthquake, 6.0 earthquake hit yesterday in Italy. Uh, I believe the death toll is up to four. A lot of very old buildings uh, came crashing down. Uh, they said it was uh, a, a shallow quake. And uh, they've been having several aftershocks as well. Uh, Guatemala. Uh, Fuego Volcano spits lava and ash. More volcanic activity. Dramatic eruption seen in Sakajima Volcano in Japan. Uh, very active volcano has been going on for several years. Um, most active year on record last year and it's uh, continuing so. Uh, News on Japan was reporting uh, volcanic ash envelops Japan's Kagoshima City, an ash cloud enveloped vast areas after Japan's active uh, Sakurajima volcano in southern western city uh, erupted repeatedly Sunday on Monday. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, northern Italy earthquake leaves thousands homeless and terrified, of course. Ongoing situation there. Got another mystery boom rattles buildings and residents in the Channel Islands. Uh, in Europe. Uh, an investigation has been launched into the cause of a mysterious boom which shook buildings across the island on Saturday afternoon. Hundreds of island and islanders reported hearing loud bangs similar to sonic boom at 1.04 p.m. Uh, Indonesia's Mount Surung volcano erupts, sending hundreds fleeing and complaining of respiratory ailments. Uh, all kinds of strange gases coming out of these volcanoes. Uh, it's not just smoke and ash. Japan professor warns highly probable of eruption of Mount Fuji within three years. Uh, it's been historically documented that after uh, big earthquakes in the Japan area that uh, Mount Fuji has been known to pop off shortly after. Uh, the Costa Rica volcano story. Christchurch, New Zealand rattled by more tremors yet. Uh, Christchurch had been rocked by a 4.8 magnitude earthquake on Sunday evening. It follows a 4.1 um, at 9.35 a.m. on Sunday morning, I'm guessing local time. And uh, they're saying it was centered like 20 kilometers east of Christchurch. Yeah, pretty shallow. So everybody felt it on top of already the damaged and they, they're, they're still digging out uh, from that big earthquake last year, year and a half ago. Awakening second glacial burst for geothermal vents under Katla Volcano in Iceland. Uh, if you remember what Katla Volcano, uh, the last time it erupted, and it is way overdue, um, we had a year with uh, no summer, <laughs> and they were ice skating at the mouth of the Gulf of Mississippi River. Major crack on the south wall of Fukushima reactor number four. Is it the end of the world as we know it? It's been that way. Uh, if there isn't a large clock crack, there still is an issue of the severely damaged unit number four building tilting. 
the 1500 spent fuel rod pond almost suspended in air on the fifth floor and the extreme potential for a slight earthquake or explosion to unleash a catastrophic radioactive chain of events much worse than Chernobyl. Well, the spent fuel in the hobbled unit number four at Fukushima uh, Daiichi not only sits on an elevated pool outside the reactor's floor core's reinforced containment and high consequence earthquake zone adjacent to the ocean just as nearly as all the spent fuel at the at the nuclear site is stored, but it is also open to the elements because of a hydrogen explosion blew off the roof. There's no containment on this thing, and the really big um, holding pool, the, the communal pool with, with the thousands and thousands of fuel rods in it is just a short distance away from number four. And if uh, number four goes, it will be way too radioactive um, to do anything on all six reactors and uh, we will have five extreme situations instead of one. Um, the problem compounds and continues. Uh, scientists ponder the existence of theoretical new planets in the solar system. Uh, as yet undiscovered planet might be orbiting at the dark fringes of the solar system according to new research. Too far out to be easily spotted by telescopes, the potential unseen planet appears to be making its presence felt by disturbing the orbits of the so-called uh, Cooper Belt, said uh, Rondi Gnomes, an astronomer at the National Observatory of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, the Cooper Belt is Objects, small ice bodies, that's where Pluto's at, and just big chunks of comets up there, and something's pushing these comets out of their normal orbit, um, uh, affecting the orbit of Neptune, which tells the astronomers that, there, yes, there is something farther out there, uh, be it if this is a big mass like a brown dwarf star sitting on the outside, uh, where we can't see it just affecting the solar system, or a small Mars-sized planet, um, that cuts close in a long elliptical orbit uh, is yet to be determined. Um, hence the, the Nibiru and Planet X theories. Um, but I'm convinced, yeah, there's definitely another planet out there somewhere. And uh, we have yet to get to the bottom of that rabbit hole. Guatemala's Fuego Volcano emits massive ash cloud closing airports. Tropical Storm Alberto forms off the, the coast of South Carolina and rolls up the coast. Freya is going off over there. And uh, that's an ongoing situation up the east coast of the United States. Uh, Mount Maripai volcano in Indonesia erupts again. A lot of volcano activity going on. And war stuff, economy stuff. Papua New Guinea's Bagana volcano lava eruption caught by NASA satellite. They got some pretty traumatic pictures of that. And menacing terror. Mexican's Popo volcano spews fiery rock and ash, shakes building in nearby village. And of course, everything's completely under control. And, uh, yeah, that's about all new I want to cover on there tonight. Over to the Watchers. They've got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, wow, this is going to be a long video. Interplanetary shockwave swept past Earth on May 20th. So during the eclipse, we had a um, uh, CME hit and uh, some nice, really cool Abora lights along goes with that. Uh... Deadly heat wave across India. India is experiencing deadly heat wave. Heat waves of varying intensities are expected to stalk northwest India and parts of east and east central India. Uh, the worst hit, hit region is northeast, with unofficial reports of 41 deaths from heat related illnesses. And where was the other one? Anyway, over to uh, nuclear stuff. Let's do the NE news. I've got a few things I want to cover. Uh, just in, NRC Chairman uh, Jaxco to resign, according to the U uh, New York Times. 
Fukushima reactors to be entombed like Chernobyl, question mark. Officials might say we're just going to fill it with concrete and walk away. Uh, not a good idea. Government holds press conferences on unit number four. Fuel rods, workers still reinforcing reactors' anti-quake capacity. Despite growing international concerns, no plans to speed up their scheduled removal by 2015. And uh, you got to remember, they're still going home for the weekends. It's that big of an emergency for them. Uh, TEPCO, that is. Report from Fukushima, total levels of radiation are not decreasing at all. Japan government does nothing. Individuals are left to deal with the problems themselves. WSJ reporter asks, what plans do you have in case of Unit 4 pool does come down? Question mark. The government official evaded or wouldn't answer his question. Arnie Gunderson on plutonium. I believe fragments of nuclear fuel are in the ocean from explosions at Unit 3 and Unit 1. Uh, there's a video attached with that. This plutonium was blown all over the place. And uh, all I got to do is say, uh, watch reactor number three go up and tell me uh, how much plutonium went where. Uh, work at spent fuel pool number four being handled like a construction project, and that's unfortunate to say the least. There, are, there is no international effort whatsoever, which is shocking and nobody wants to spend the money on it. Uh, but here we are soaking in it. Pacific Ocean will continue to be contaminated, uh, kind of, for the rest of time. Containment vessels continuously leaking into the sea. Again, we have three reactors that have gone China Syndrome. They have broken through and are down into um, getting into the water. And uh, that's why they want to build this 100-foot deep wall uh, up against the ocean to keep that water from leaking into the Pacific Ocean, try to curb the tide a little bit. And uh, the insanity continues, but they're still trying to tell us everything's under control. Trillions of becquerels per day still emit, being emitted from Fukushima, Fukushima Daiichi. Radioactive steam continues. And if you watch uh, Fukushima live stream at all, you can see the, con the, the steam is continuous. Former senior reactor operator, you can only get recriticality re in spent fuel number four. You can get a recriticality in spent fuel number four. four. Never-ending fountain of particulates and gas. And uh, there was a story on um, Japan Atomic um, Ind Industry Forum. New building material to absorb cesium developed. Now, there's a little bit of good news. Japanese research group says they've, they have succeeded in developing a building material that could filter most radioactive cesium from contaminated water. The research group at uh, Kinki University's uh, Faculty of Engineering in Hiroshima Prefecture applied a method using plaster found in traditional Japanese architecture. The traditional material is called uh, shikui, S-H-I-K-K-U-I, usually mixes with lime and sand, but the group used uh, zeolite powder instead of sand. The newly developed material is permeable. Researchers say that during the test, the filtered cesium dissolved in water. Uh, the material absorbed over 99% of the cesium. Um, so this is definitely something um, good news we can use to start collecting some of the cesium up the impossible job that it is. And finally tonight, a little warning uh, for all those tourists rushing to Japan uh, to go and party and have a good time. Uh, where to go, where to go? Gonorrhea superbug spreads in Japan. Scientists have found a drug-resistant strain of gonorrhea in Japan they say could transform a once easily treatable infection into a global pup global public health threat. Now we've had mutations in the plants, um, things are going on with the animals, what's well, not to say that um, common ailments and, and uh, bacteria and viruses aren't going to be affected by this radiation and mutate. So, the insanity continues. Enjoy what you can everybody. Thanks.